Well, three of the victims of Monday's massacre of a fundamentalist LDS family in Mexico were laid to rest today. A total of nine were killed in the gruesome ambush, today marking only the beginning of the several funerals being arranged. ABC4's Rick Aaron has the heartbreaking details. Imagine a place so dangerous that you need a military convoy just to accompany you to a funeral. Well, that was the case for several Utahns who traveled to Mexico for today's services. Three coffins carried out of the funeral for 43-year-old Donna Ray Langford and her sons, Trevor and Rogan. This was the first of the heart-wrenching services for these murder victims. Relatives now questioning whether all nine of the massacred family members were targeted by a drug cartel. So much more awful than we any, any of us could have imagined. The family was caravanning to Kendra Miller's wedding Monday when they were ambushed. The bride-to-be telling ABC's Tom Yamas she believes the three women and six children were gunned down to spark a new battle in an ongoing war between drug gangs. So you're saying your family was used as pawns? Yes. The Chihuahua cartel used our three women and all the children as a provocation to start a war between them and the Sonora. Relative Julian LeBaron later found one of the family's vehicles. Next to it, Christina Langford, lying in the road with two gunshot wounds to her heart, and still alive in her car seat, her infant daughter named Faith. There was a bullet hole through the canopy on the car seat, and we opened the canopy, and the baby was smiling at us. Still no suspects named in these murders, and Mexican officials are maintaining their theory that the family was mistaken for rival gang members because of the type of vehicles they were traveling in. Reporting in the newsroom, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News. Actually, not.